Okay, so one of the ironies of Snagit is that you can actually record a screen grabbing of how to use Snagit because by definition it's sort of looping back on itself. So I'm having to do this with a video camera uh, and I'll try and explain how to set up automatic timed captures using Snagit profiles. Um, once you've got one set up, it's just a matter of uh, copying and saving the profile again and again to get uh, exactly what you're looking for. So it's, it's, it's pretty easy. It's just getting the first one set up so it's a bit tricky getting all the settings first thing. So first thing you would do is set up a folder that you want to stick your grabs in. So I have a, a, a cloud folder that runs on my NAS server. Uh, that means that the folders are available to on the different computers and uh, we'll create up a, a new folder in here and we shall call it uh, I don't know what we'll call it, call it Pairs View ok so nothing in there as you can imagine so this gives us a starting point so now I need to go into snag it and I'm using the 12.1 version which is the, the very latest one so the the principles are exactly the same some of the menus are maybe ever so slightly different laid out but the setup is exactly the same so you go in here into the main Snagit capture tool and you click manage profiles and that opens this window here I'm using a multi-screen display and some of the windows are by default opening up on another screen so uh, just excuse that for the moment I'll just grab that across but this, this would open right in front of you normally so first thing in here is to create a new profile and you're going to call it we'll call this um, 5 second pairs so we know what it is ok and then you want to set up all these different settings so the first thing you want is to highlight whether you want it to be a video capture or a photograph capture so it's a screen grab so that's the normal one by default selection you want to change that to region so obviously you're going to select the area that you're going to, that you're going to um, grab there are various settings in here uh, for to do with the region settings you don't need to change any for this particular thing but if you have an explorer in there you might find better uses for yourself next one is share share is, is how you're going to save the, the file so you're going to save it as a file and you're obviously going to save it into the folder that you set up so you're saving it as a file and then you have to change some of the, the tweaks in here so you click on the settings you're going to change file format to always use this file format and in my case I'm going to use JPEG it just, it's just more convenient uh, for opening things up um, you're going to use automatic file name and then you're going to click the options and in here you need to select something that suits your purpose there's a number of preset ones, you can customise these to your heart's content but there's a number of uh, preset ones that are good as a starting point so the one I tend to use is prefix system date system time the prefix being something that makes it obvious to you what it's for so in my case I'm going to call it pairs okay so you can see it gives you an example name so a, a grab taken right now would be called pairs 12, 7, 2, 2014, 12, 11, 25, 26 seconds, whatever. Okay. But you can you can adapt these and each profile can have completely different names in different locations so that you can use different profiles for different markets, different purposes and keep them on the uh, organised folders. Click OK. So you can see that that's selected there. And then always use this folder if you want to tell it where to go and save it so we set up that folder uh, a wee while ago so I need to go and find uh, where I put that again for, uh, it's in my cloud station shares and trading grabs 
pairs of views. So you OK, apply, and OK. Next thing is this option here that says editor. It will be selected. That means that any grab will get sent straight to the editor. You don't want that because you'll end up with the editor opening up over the, the windows that you're trying to grab and uh, it will hold up progress. So you untick that. You can have the cursor on or off. I tend to just leave it off, which means that you'll not see the mouse cursor if you happen to drag it over the screen in front of the screen grab. And then the timer is uh, obviously the sort of pretty well the critical one. Uh, let's let's make it a really short. I gave it a five second pairs as the name. We'll make the timer five seconds. So we want capture timer. Enable capture timer. Change that to seconds. Change that to five. Turn off the delay schedule. As far as my way, that doesn't really affect anything. So you can see that you've got a timer thing set because it's now blue, and that's you basically done it. If you wanted to have other options like special effects, things like shadows on your windows, or if you want to use a hotkey to apply it and you want to use it, you can. I don't bother. I just I just leave that. And click save. So now you've got that profile. So now let's uh, go and use it. So I've got my IG platform here, bring that in and I've set up a, a just a standard watch list with some pairs and let's imagine the scenario that I want to keep updated screen grabs of how this performs over a, a period of time. So go in here and your uh, snag it and instead of clicking the red button you come down and select the profile that you want to use. Uh, and it's going to um, come up with a highlighted area and allow me to select different options. And obviously, in this case, I'm just going to select this wee, this wee bar of uh, prices and I'm going to be grabbing it every five seconds. So as soon as I let go there, that's now grabbing. Now, I have the advantage here on my PC because I'm on a, a cloud uh, service within my server, it updates me, it gives me a wee update screen uh, down in the corner in my taskbar and I can actually see that that's adding grabs every 5 seconds, it's telling me there's a new file being added to the cloud every 5 seconds, so I know that that's working. But uh, we shall stop that, so to, to stop it, just go back, click your record button and it'll tell you there's a, a recording in, in progress, do you want to stop it, say yes, and we'll go back to our folder. There's our pair of views and there's 25 seconds worth or 30 seconds worth of captures all uh, grabbed and that's it in a nutshell. Obviously you can uh, make your save locations to be a Dropbox folder or whatever you want. The only problem with things like Dropbox is, is if you use Dropbox yourself, which I do, I use it for managing family photos and stuff like that. Uh, having it as a mapped sort of drive might be a bit trickier if you've got multiple Dropboxes to, to feed to. Uh, I haven't played a bit with that because I've not got anybody else's account to, to, to do it with. But uh, anyway, I hope that was hope that was helpful to you and uh, explained how to use automated timed captures in Snagit. Cheers.